This is a package of pork rinds. Although they have 11 grams of protein, there's a little note saying not a significant source of protein. The absolute quantity of protein in pork rinds is actually quite high. So why is this label on the package? The answer is because pork rinds aren't technically considered a complete protein source. Essentially, they are very low in certain amino acids, including methionine, tryptophan, and histidine. This is the same reason something like gelatin or collagen peptides are also considered not a significant source of protein. Because despite the fact that most animal proteins are quite good in their amino acid profile, collagen-based proteins like pork rinds, gelatin, and collagen peptides themselves cannot be considered a significant source of protein because they are not high in all of the essential amino acids. And this is why collagen protein is inferior to whey protein or other complete protein sources when it comes to muscle protein synthesis. Because all of the essential amino acids in adequate quantities are required to maximize muscle protein synthesis. But collagen protein is not a complete protein source. With that being said, the real moral of the story here is don't get all of your protein from collagen, gelatin, and pork rinds. Because given that you're consuming protein from other sources during the day, a small portion of collagen protein can count towards your total daily protein intake, given that you are getting the essential amino acids that are lacking inside of collagen protein from other sources. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to your nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.